What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Next Moon YT channel. Today I'm in my car, and my car is usually a very nice place to be in. And there's just one thing that bugs me. The thing that bugs me is my headrest. You see. See my headrest over here? It's quite pitched forward and the seats are not really up. The headrests are not up or at a slight incline, but they're severely inclined. You see how my hand is positioned here? This is straight up, but my headrest is reclined or pitched forward quite a bit. And that is because the US safety regulations a few years back requires that all car manufacturers provide whiplash protections. And what that means is all car makers are required to have their headrest within two, inch, two inches of the driver's, uh, the back of his head. So this is a result of that safety change. That anti-whiplash requirement is a good thing. It will protect drivers and front passengers from neck injuries during a case of an accident. However, automakers decided to meet that requirement in a very uh, low-cost way. And what they did was basically took this headrest piece, which used to be more straight up, and severely inclined it forward. And by making it inclined forward, it makes the driver head much closer to the back, uh, to the front of the headrest to provide the safety. Uh, the big, big negative is the model dummy they use to measure this portion of the headrest is six feet, two inches with a average length torso. The problem with using a 6 feet 2 inch dummy that's fixed is most people are not 6 feet 2 inches. We have a lot of women drivers out there who are not 6 feet 2 inches. Or we have a, a lot of male drivers like me who are not 6 foot 2 inches. I'm 5 foot 10 and with an extra long torso. What that creates is a big problem for the drivers who are not 6 feet feet two inches basically it causes the driver's head to hit the top of the seat incline and pushes his chin which would normally would face forward in a driving position would force the head down so my hand is showing you the angle of where my chin would be facing if I was driving now I cannot drive comfortably for over more than 10 minutes like this I'll start developing upper shoulder aches or neck aches. So this is a very flawed design and it was a way for manufacturers, car manufacturers, to cheaply meet the requirements. Now they could have designed a mechanism for the head piece which would have cost more but be a lot more adjustable and comfortable. They could have made it a headrest that could have been adjustable. But no, they chose uh, Ford uh, Honda, Toyota, basically all the big manufacturers chose a cheap way to meet the requirements. So my neck is giving me a hard time each time I drive anywhere that's more than let's say 10 minutes. So today I'm going to show you how to fix this. Stay tuned. Step one is to just pull your headrest up just like this. And step two is to find a little lever or switch that releases the headrest. In my case, it's right here. This little button will, if you press it in, it's like this, will release the whole headrest. So let me release the whole headrest. Okay, there's my headrest. And the solution that I'm gonna employ is to 
bend basically these two metal support pillars. You see how right now this angle is pretty severe with the headrest back. I'm gonna be bending these two rods back. So instead of a headrest being like so, it'll be more like this. I'm gonna shave a few degrees off of this, the angle of the headrest. And the difference is what I'm showing you today is I'm gonna use a car jack. That's right, you heard me, a car jack. Now a lot of people use wooden, uh, use vi uh, vices or they use wooden poles or studs to try to bend this one at a time. Now that works, but it's a lot, a lot of effort. And these balls are pretty strong. Okay, they have to be in order to provide uh, protection to your head. So I'm gonna use a car jack. Now what most people don't realize is a car jack not only can lift things up, it can press things down. So I'm gonna use a car jack. A, my car jack is about uh, three ton. It comes with my car. So anyone with a car, you will have a free press in your car. You may not realize that. But you have a two to three ton car uh, two to three ton press in your car that you can use. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to set this up and bend these two metal bars further back so we can straighten out the headrest and won't be impacting my lower back or my jaw when I drive. So guys, these are the tools I'm gonna be using to make my modification to the headrest. Over here, we have my car jack. If you have a car, look in your trunk. You have one for free. This is just a two by three stud that I have laying around. Uh, just a large sheet or blank, uh, blanket or just a towel. I have a towel here. And just another piece of small flat piece of wood. And we, I need a piece of cardboard just to keep the headrest clean. And optionally, a cordless drill. I'm gonna leave a link up on the top of this video where you can see how I use a drill to raise and lower my lift. Let's okay everyone, so here's my setup. I have the piece of cardboard laid on the ground. I'm working on top of concrete. So I'm laying the cardboard down so the headpiece, the headrest can slide as I compress it down. I have a stud here, a piece of wood, two by three stud. That's gonna use to keep the two steel rods staying to stand up. There inside, you see my headrest. I have the towel wrapped around it to keep my headrest from getting all scratched or scuffed up. On top of that, I have a piece of board. And on top of that, is my car jack. My car jack's right here. So go ahead and set up the car jack like you normally would. Make sure it goes inside the little uh, cutout where the jack goes and position it so the jack is directly between these two rods, right over where the base is. And then I'm gonna start compressing. Here we go. We wanna go slow. Now I'm going to reverse it. And now I'm going to take it out and see how it everything is. Here's my headrest after I've uh, adjusted the ball slant. Now it's a little more vertical, not a lot. I still want the whiplash protection. I just want to make it just a smidge straighter just so that it's not pushing on the back of my head and forcing my chin down and causing me a backache uh, in the back and in the upper shoulders. So here it is. It's just a smidgen straighter versus the other one in the passenger side that I have not done. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Uh, I don't have a lot of people riding in the front but if I need to do the same adjustment I'll use the same steps as, as I used before. 
And just to say again, I'm not recommending you do this to your own cause headrest. I'm doing this just to re uh, resolve my back issues when this headrest pushes forward and presses my head forward and down. Uh, so if you like this video or find it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.